going on guys it's been a minute since i've been recording and filming and fishing all at the same time uh been taking a little break from youtube and uh all that stuff you know um it's been kind of crazy been busy a lot so i've been doing a lot of different stuff but uh today i'm back out here at the iowa river um, i'm at this little place where the creek kind of runs through here and uh yeah right here there's like a little uh mud line as you can see so we're just gonna run some baits through here and see if there aren't any uh, bigger fish or any fish at all so yeah come along with me let's do it all right yeah just to start off here i have a uh, very small jig it's a 132nd ounce jig head and a bobby garland thread fin shad is the color on that and uh yeah we're just gonna see if there's anything in here that wants a smaller little bait fish looking thing and uh, we'll just see what happens here at first. Um, the plan is to try some jerk baits as well and uh, probably go into the river pond that's right over there. And uh, they were definitely smashing bait fish the other day. So we'll see what happens here. But first let's try in here. A little uh, change in water quality could be a good sign, but this, this bait might be a little bit too small right now. So we'll just see see what happens here. There's a fish. There's a fish. That did not take long. We got a little little white bass it looks like. I figure there'd be a lot of these around too. Well first fish of the day just a little white bass. There might be some bigger ones, but we'll uh, we'll keep looking around here for them. Might want to get a little bit bigger lure there. <clears throat> we'll see. Yeah, I figure there's uh, probably a bunch of those around in here right now. Definitely keyed in on uh, this type of bait, and probably the small, to be honest with you, around here. Yeah, see, there's more fish right there hitting hitting the surface there. Let's see. Yeah, they're not very big. Oh, that's a largey too. Come here, dude. Yeah, so uh, there's definitely some smaller fish. There's some weird stuff going on there in his gills. I don't know what that's all about. But yeah, there's uh, definitely a lot of little fish right in here. Let's keep looking. I think there was another little fish there. We'll try in the uh, muddy part, work our way into the <laughs> clearer water over here. Yeah, we've gotten uh, quite a bit of rain in the last three days. It's been off and on, but sometimes there have just been some absolute downpours. And this water level has come up, oh, at least two feet since I was here yesterday. So, I mean, I think I was standing right over here yesterday. Not catching much yesterday, but uh, definitely getting some bites. I'm just gonna try try moving it a little bit erratically here. Maybe we can find another fish. Oh, there's a little crappie. Well, third species. It's, they've all been pretty small, but uh, three species right here. And he absolutely engulfed it. Man, why'd you do that? All right, I got a bleeder, but uh. It'll probably be okay. Bad bass right there. He absolutely inhaled it. A little largey. Alright, well 
that's the biggest fish of the day so far. Just a little possibly spotted bass. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it might be a spotted bass, honestly. Just a little one. That's four species, though. We got a crappie. We got a white bass. We got a largey, I think. And now we got a spotted bass. Let's see what else we can find. Four species right in here with a very small bait. Let's take it. Well, yeah, there's another fish. What's this? I'm doing one of the kitchen. Yeah, we got a smallie. Possibly a smallie there. I think that is a smallmouth. So if that's a smallmouth, that is species number five. We have another spot. Or is this another smallie? When they're smaller, it's a little bit difficult to tell for me, anyways. Yeah, this is a spotted bass. Oh my god. Yeah, we got a little, another little spotted bass, but uh, that's okay. Oh man, missed that one too. Definitely fish out here. And the rain is starting to come back. We'll see how uh, heavy it gets here, but um, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I am not opposed to fishing in the rain. I was, did not come prepared though, even though I should have. We'll see what happens. Yep, another, another little crappie, a little bit bigger than the other one, but again, man, they just absolutely inhaling it. This one's bleeding too. He is not going to live, I don't think, but <clears throat> so far in his gill. <sighs> well, he got it out by himself. Pretty bloody, you probably won't even see this one. All right, well, maybe we'll take a short hiatus here. Let this rain uh, kind of play itself out. Probably go wait in the car for a little bit. And, uh, and then we'll probably go to the river pond and try over there. All right, well, it's the next day here. Um, there is not a mud line that I can see and the sun is definitely out right now. So maybe a little bit different going here fishing wise but we'll see let's start off with the same uh, thing i was using yesterday let's see if we can't get another predator or two there's there are things happening there so we'll keep trying there's something yeah 
<clears throat> there's the crappie. I did bring the bucket in case we caught some crappie to keep. I don't think that guy is big enough. All right. Yeah, he's too small to keep, so we'll keep looking around. Yeah, still, still fishing here. As you can see, there's definitely something chasing small shad around over there. That was a little bit better crappie. Yeah. I think we might keep him actually. Alright, that is probably the minimum size I would keep, but uh, yeah, wouldn't mind having some fish. Let's see if there's any more over there. My guess is that there are. Hopefully we can catch some bigger ones too. There's another one. Another small one here. Yeah, he's too small. A little white crappie. Smaller. Smalley? We call that a smalley? I think that'd be smalley. All right, so yeah, let's upsize a little bit. So this is a uh, one sixteenth ounce jig head, and that's a ribbon tail grub by Yum Plastics. Definitely uh, one of my go-tos. So we've definitely seen this type of lure before on my channel. It's uh, I like to call it a search lure, but then I always keep using it. So search and find and keep using. Anyways, we're gonna keep we're gonna speed it up a little bit here. See if anything's chasing. There we go, that's better. Here we go, a little bit better. It's good large. Wow, that's a good spot. That is a spotted bass. It's a good one. All right, not a bad spotted bass at all. I'm probably Definitely at least a pound. Whoa, almost smacked my face with the lure. It's a nice spotted bass. So, definitely have some spotted bass around, some crappie. Let's see what else we can find. There's something else. Yeah, I was wondering if we were going to get some more white bass. Yeah, there's another white bass though. Probably a little bit smaller than yesterday's one that I caught, so that's whatever though. But they're around still. 
All right, well, we made it. We made it to the river pond finally. Just took a couple days. All right, I got the uh, crappie in my car. Let's see if we can catch a few more crappie and uh, see if there are any fish hitting the surface like there was a few days ago. <coughs> There's a fish. That's a crappie. Heck yeah. Well, first cast. This guy is, again, probably the smallest I'll go. We'll keep him though. There's another fish there. Another one. All right, now well, there's some fish around in here. So that's good. Are they crappie though? That's the question. Are they all crappie? That looks like a bluegill. No, it's not. It's another crappie. Okay, these guys are kind of short and stout, but yeah, yeah, we'll keep him too. There was something right away. It's got to be a bass. Yeah, it is a bass. It's a good one, too. It's a good one. Nice. Well, definitely the biggest fish of the day. All right, of course, my uh, camera died, so uh, we'll get a good look at it here, maybe. But uh, definitely the biggest bass of the day, biggest fish of the day, possibly. I don't know, maybe that spotted bass is a little bit bigger, but uh, nice. Thanks, bud. That was pretty cool. I was not expecting that. I only got the tail end of it, but maybe they'll circle around again. All right, well, I've had enough. I think I've caught uh, a few fish today and yesterday, which was pretty awesome. Um, got a couple keepers, kind of. I don't know. They'll eat, so that's cool. Uh, I caught a couple bass that were okay. One was a spot and one was a largey. And uh, yada, yada, blah, 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 blah. So. I appreciate you guys watching as always. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.